Now, Jet 24's Mike Fenner with sports. Welcome on, it's time for sports. No, I did not get an Easter basket this morning. Yes, there is still time to send one. After helping take the Mercier's baseball team to the College World Series last spring, a pair of pitchers made their way to the pros, and the challenge since then has been one full of twists and turns, to say the least. Two of the leaders on Mercier's 2019 baseball team who helped take the Lakers to the College World Series and pitchers Matt Minnick and Tyler Garby fondly remember their times on the mound. I think a big part of success last year was just the amount of returning guys we had. Um, we had a lot of returning hitters and we had a lot of returning pitchers. Our whole starting rotation was seniors, so that was very helpful to know that you know, we didn't have to worry about who was on the mound. We kind of knew that no matter who it was, they'd get the job done. Playing for recently inducted Erie Metro Hall of Famer and head coach Joe Spano. Everyone became a family. We learned how to work well together, and um, we had a good relationship with the coaches too. So that, looking back, um, I believe that was a big contributor to our success. That included winning an NCAA Super Regional Series against Charleston to send them off to carry North Carolina. Winning it at home. Um, the last game on our on our field um, before the renovations, uh, winning in front of our home fans, our alumni, our administration uh, was just incredible. Uh, one of the highlights of of all of our lives. And the 35 straight scoreless innings, which I believe is an NCAA record, um, those are some of the biggest moments. Garby picked in the 19th round by the Cincinnati Reds and Minnick selected in round 23 by the New York Yankees in last year's Major League Baseball draft. Have both been enjoying the process of making the transition to pro baseball. I was able to work with some of our pitching coordinators and directors. My goals this offseason were kind of just to learn how to utilize my body more throughout my delivery and um, to kind of hopefully gain some velocities. Life after getting drafted was a whirlwind. You know, after the season ended, I shipped out pretty quickly, so I didn't have that much time to really think about, you know, getting drafted and going to the next level. You know, going down to Arizona and, you know, seeing 150 players and competing with everyone every day was definitely an adjustment, but it's, it's something that, you know, you got to thrive on when it comes to competition. Going from playing rookie ball to preparing in the offseason for this spring to now waiting on the start of the season due to COVID-19 is a new challenge that calls for creativity. One of the things you know I did was I went out and bought a bucket of baseballs and you know I'll go to a field and throw all the baseballs and then go pick them up when you know, I'm done throwing all of them. Um, so it, it's definitely just make do with what you have. Minnick thinks back on his time rehabbing from elbow surgery during his Mercy Years days as he adjusts to a new way of operating during this time. I had to find ways to modify my routines and a lot of that's throwing into a net and kind of being confined to smaller places. I mean, with the weather that we're used to, 